Tip number one is to save your lemon zest. I save the zest off every lemon because I love lemons. I keep my lemon zest in the freezer. You can sprinkle this on top of asparagus or green beans for a nice zesty flavor. But the most important trick is that I use this in cleaning. Everyone knows that homemade cleaning supplies are much greener. Put one tablespoon of lemon zest with a shot of vodka and allow it to set in a small jar for two weeks. Filter the zest out, use the lemon scented elixir in your cleaning products, and it just makes your home smell wonderful. Of course, you can also use your lemon zest in baking and making lemon cake. It's just a fabulous, handy thing. Don't throw out lemon zest. It's like gold. Tip number two is to have an ends jar. I keep my ends jar in the freezer, and this includes everything that I don't want to throw in my compost bin. I might put onions, mushroom stems, um, parsley, cilantro ends, whatever I have that I think would make a good broth. I make the broth when I'm doing other things, it's super simple, and then I can use that broth during the week for an easy quick soup or to flavor other recipes. Tip number three for organizing and zero waste is bar of soap. I use it to wash my dishes very easily. I keep it by my sink and then I just rub a clean dish rag on it and then wash my dishes that way and that eliminates the liquid soap. I do have a new take on how I'm buying from the bulk bin. I have been saving all of my plastic since going plastic free. This is the packaging from things like nuts, flour, etc. Some people bring glass jars to have them filled at the bulk bin and then they have the cashier tear off the weight. But a lot of grocery stores don't allow this or they have problems with it, they can't figure out how to do it. <laughs> I've eliminated that part of the equation by bringing in packaging that was purposed for flour in the first place, but reusing it by filling it in the bin with more flour. And then I just put the sticker, the bulk bin sticker on top of this and then I mark out the UPC code at the bottom. Tip number five for organizing my life is to have a really organized pantry full of building blocks for easy meals and ready-made fast food. I just shop in the grocery store on the perimeters where you might buy things like fresh veggies, the bulk bins, and the meat. And I just simply don't even go into the inside where all those packaged cookies are. At the end of the day, sometimes I don't feel like cooking at all. On nights that I do cook, I make a double batch and freeze half. And sometimes on the weekend, I might can several jars of soup, beans, or other things that are quick and easy. Having fast food in my pantry eliminates the temptation to stop at the grocery store and get something quick that would come in packaging. Tip number six for zero waste is to get really good at five recipes. Those recipes depend on what you like and eat the most of. I choose to make things on a weekly basis that are super fast and easy and that will eliminate the most waste. For me, those are the things that I consume the most of. I hate to admit it, but cookies is one of them. Crackers, um, kombucha, yogurt, what else? tortillas. Bread, which I only make sometimes because I can buy that zero waste. I have learned how to make them efficiently and I just do the same thing every couple of weeks. It does take a couple of hours out of my week, but I know exactly what's going into it and I know they're really healthy and the alternatives that I make are far better than you can buy at the grocery store. Tip number seven, glass jars. You can save glass jars from things that you normally buy in the grocery store and reuse them for canning, freezing, your dehydrated vegetables, or fill them full of extra stuff that you wanna give away as gifts. There's a brand of salsa that I really love, it's tasty, and it comes in this mason jar. I love this because this mason jar can be used for canning and there's no other salsa I'll buy because of the packaging. Tip number eight is to be flexible when you cook. If you find a recipe that calls for saffron, and that saffron comes in a little glass bottle that comes in a box that's then vacuum sealed in plastic, that is really a lot of waste for a recipe that you might not cook all the time. I suggest finding a substitute, simply Googling it. Maybe if you need saffron, you'll use a tiny pinch of turmeric instead. Tip number nine, keep a compost bin. Here's my compost bin. This is a plastic container that I had before going plastic free. It has a lid and I keep it in the refrigerator. I have also kept this on the counter because I empty it a lot. Whatever you have laying around, just reuse it. It will make a great compost bin if you're taking it out regularly. 
If you live in an apartment, composting can be very challenging. In some cities, you can compost with the city, and then some people simply compost with a five gallon bucket and they take it out to um, a local farm or whatever. If you live in New York City or some other large metropolitan area, this seems to me to be very difficult and uh, almost not doable. You can choose an apartment complex that has a composting system already set up. You can speak with your management about possibly adding this. I'm hoping that those who live in cities will get involved in city government to push some of these ideas of composting because while it does cost the city to compost, it also saves the city. Tip number 10 is to reduce or eliminate paper towels. I do this by simply reusing the cloth in my home that can't be donated. This might be a towel that has uh, multiple holes in it or an old t-shirt. I don't sew these, I don't make them pretty. I just cut them in pieces, stuff them in a glass jar, and when I need to wash my windows, I use this. A lot of people have found fancy ways to make paper towel rolls, etc. And if you don't have time for that, that's not a problem. You can still use your old rags. Super easy, obviously free. Those are my 10 tips for today in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you'll try a few out. Visit me at quittingplastic.com. I am cataloging my personal journey towards zero waste and plastic free living, and I hope you'll enjoy the other videos.